In other Hamas-related news, the Gaza terror group is now publicly searching for information on the IDF unit that was operating covertly in Khan Yunis earlier this month. The discovery of this unit on November 11th in the middle of an alleged intel gathering mission resulted in multiple deaths, including senior Hamas militants and an Israeli lieutenant colonel. And it exploded into two days of intense rocket fire from Gaza aimed at southern Israeli cities. Well now, although tensions have largely been reduced, Hamas's investigation into the unit has continued, with checkpoints across the Strip being set up in an effort to capture potential Palestinian collaborators and information on the van the IDF allegedly used in the botched mission. Hamas's military Izadin al-Qassam brigades also published photos of several individuals who they claim are allegedly part of the IDF unit in question, in hopes that some information on these people would be turned in. Hamas apparently also fears that the unit may have been operating for some time in Gaza, uh, even running a base of operations out of the Strip right under Hamas's nose. The IDF, on the other hand, is now publicly asking media outlets not to spread any such pictures or respond to Hamas, saying, quote, Hamas is currently trying to decipher and understand the incident that took place deep inside Gaza on November 11th, and any piece of information, even if it's considered harmless by those publishing it, is liable to endanger human lives and harm state security, end quote.